Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and we're going to get into this weekly message which is timeless so you can watch it whenever but I have several announcements to make here in the beginning. Please don't scroll ahead because some of this is important to know if you're going to follow this channel, okay? So there's a lot, okay? I'm going to try to get through this <laughs> as fast as I can and then we'll get to this very important message. So first and foremost, if you are watching this before July 12th of 2022, I am doing a really fun, casual, spiritual chat hangout on the Bright platform. Tickets are just 10 bucks and everything I'm saying here, all the information is in the description box, okay? So if you wanna get over there and hang out with your community, this is not an educational kind of thing. It's just us hanging out very, like I said, very casually. If you would like to secure your ticket, for the final part of the Archangel series that I'll be doing live on August 29th, and both these sessions are 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, you can go ahead and use the link to sign up for that. Archangel Uriel, we will be talking about this very unknown <laughs> Archangel who's all about wisdom and strength and really coming into your own and really understanding who you are. Again, not from an ego space, but from a deep wisdom, all right? So check that out. Let's talk about personal readings. For the time being, I am offering live video readings. Those are priced differently and they are completely based on availability. So if that is something that sounds like you want to do, email me and we'll go back and forth and see if it's gonna work. <laughs> but angelsouls444 at gmail.com. I am doing these in 30 minute increments, okay? So if you want a one hour, you just get two of the 30 minutes. There is a bit of misunderstanding here where people are paying for the half hour and thinking that it gets them an hour, right? No, it's 30 minutes. So you'll see as we go back and forth. Standard readings are still available. And I am, yeah, again, as of the recording of this video, running ahead of schedule, but let's talk about that. Okay, so I've said this before, angelsouls444.com for the standard readings. When I announce that I'm ahead of schedule, it really is first come, first serve. So what I get with that is people wait a few days, maybe even a week or two weeks, and they come in, and then three days later, they're asking where their reading is. Well, people are ahead of you now, okay? So just keep that in mind. You don't have to rush in, but you know, it might take a little bit longer. It won't be longer than the wait time, but you know, it might be not so ahead of schedule. Does that make sense? Okay. <laughs> so let's talk YouTube channels. Yes, I use the plural. Years ago, I started a second channel called El Levon. Now, it was a terrible idea, I admit, for a YouTube channel because <laughs> the, whole, uh, the whole thing was life in progress. So me just going out, experiencing life stuff, and reporting back. After a while, you know, I was really talking about Collar Springs and all of that, and I just started focusing more on this channel. I'm gonna go back to that now because I'm picking up on crafts and all that stuff. So if you're interested, Again, all the information is in the description box, but the channel is called El Levon. Get on over there, make sure you subscribe because that helps out a ton and hit the notification bell and select all if you want all notifications. All right, and we'll talk about that for this channel as well. And it's kind of important, but for the El Levon one, leave a comment on one of the old videos. Again, I have not posted, I think in like three years. <laughs> so post on one of the videos what you would like me to go try and if I can film it, I will. If not, I will get some shots of the area and I will just tell you what the experience was like, okay? So let me know about that. As far as this channel goes, as you know, for years I've been hovering around the 100,000 subscriber mark. And it came to my attention that a lot of people are coming and visiting consistently, interacting with the content, thank you so much, <laughs> but you're not subscribed. If you wouldn't mind, subscribe, again, hit that notification bell and select all, and that will give you all of the notifications. Why this is important, it's not just about videos, but I was getting messages and questions. I get this kind of, not a lot, but like enough that we should address it here, where people are going, oh, I haven't seen you post in a while. Oh, you're back. I didn't go anywhere, I've been here, <laughs> right? So if you are subscribed and you hit that notification bell, you will get all announcements, you'll know what's going on, you won't be left in the dark, okay? So there's all of that. Let's talk about Patreon. I am shocked that more people are not taking advantage of Patreon. It's extra readings for a dollar a month. So get on over there and check that out. Substack, I still have my first chapter of my Metronia book up over there that you could read for free. 
and I am about a week behind on getting the next chapter up. So I am trying to get things in place. There's a lot of paperwork and stuff that is due right now. So once I get that done, I will go through the second chapter, probably the third chapter as well, get those all freshened up <laughs> and up over at Substack. And it is my goal to uh, keep up with that blog as well as the one on my website, angelsouls444.com. And then of course, lastly, we have Gumroad. I know we're almost done. Uh, Gumroad.com slash angelsouls. I often get people asking me, can you do a video on this archangel? Can you do a video on this topic? Can you do a meditation like this? And I've already done it. It's all over at Gumroad. So get on over there and check it out. Of course, if you have questions, let me know. <sighs> Are we okay? Cause I'm not sure I am. <laughs> so I'm going full retro <laughs> this week. I'm using old decks. I just think it'll be fun. But before we get into that, there is a very big message to pass along. And that is, it's really surrounding ego. And I know we talk about ego all the time, but egos are getting really, really rattled right now. And when I say egos, it's not like people are being egotistical. I'm talking ego as in my life is going nowhere. A lot of people feeling stuck and getting into a very sad place because they feel so stuck. And I know this will be something that one day I'm gonna write a nonfiction, uh, really talking about some of the realness around spiritual growth. And one of those things is not giving people room and space to feel what they feel. And like somehow they're bad if they feel stuck and then blaming and saying, well, it's your frequency, it's your fault. You're not, that's not fair. That's not fair. We are all here to be human. Nobody is above it all. If someone acts like they're above it all, they're lying, okay? Uh, you guys know what happened last week. I was getting harassed by someone and it was shocking to me to see how many people came forward and said, don't engage, don't engage. You know, that's starting to become just as toxic as, what is it, good vibes only. <laughs> or positive vibes only. It's dismissive, it's not okay. You know, and actually if you look at self-defense courses, they tell you to be loud, to let people know that you're there. And even me saying, hey, you know, this is live. I didn't even know it in the moment, it was just instincts and, and I said it. Even that's encouraged to scare people off, okay? So it's just amazing to me how conditioned, brainwashed, people are and it doesn't matter what area of life you're talking about you know in spirituality you're not supposed to have negative emotions again if someone's trying to act like they're above it all they're selling something i said it i said it okay if you forget i'm right here <laughs> right? and what that's doing is it is dragging beautiful beautiful souls who are already feeling like outsiders in this world who are already you know, getting called crazy for their beliefs, um, you know, all these kinds of things and making them feel like they're not doing enough in life. When in actuality, a lot of people who are feeling stuck right now, they are going through a very deep transformation and maybe don't realize it. And then there's this messaging out there saying, oh, well, if you're feeling stuck, it's, it's, you only have yourself to blame, you know, and it's different because there are people who victimize themselves and you know, they victimize themselves to manipulate others. You know what I mean? Or they play the victim to get people to feel sorry for them. <laughs> that sort of thing. But um, I'm, I'm talking about genuine souls who, who really are trying their best in this world. They're working the hardest and they are literally crying and hopeless and all of these horrible things because they keep getting run over. And then when they try to go for support, again, maybe they're a spiritual person who tries to go to a therapist who's telling them you, you might have a mental uh, illness because you're spiritual. It's okay for people to be religious, but not spiritual. I think that's interesting. Or, you know, they're trying to go to some spiritual person as a coach or whatever, and that person is telling them that, you know, you're, you're not doing enough for yourself or whatever. Now, in, in spiritual counseling, <laughs> it's not really counseling, but you know, doing readings and things like that, you know, our job is to reflect back to the person what they may have become numb to. So that's, that's common, that's what we're supposed to be doing. But anybody who's just like, don't engage, just you do not in 
gate. It's what they want. Blah, blah. Okay, if you're coming across a narcissist, yeah, you can walk away and not <laughs> give in to the foolishness. But if you're in a situation where you need to set boundaries, I don't like that narrative that's out there of don't stick up for yourself, don't speak up. Ah, no, that's another silencing mechanism. And it's seeping in to the people who are finding their voice in the spiritual community and speaking up about things. And isn't it interesting that now there is this, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, just this um, underlying messaging that you're not supposed to feel anything, right? You're not supposed to be authentic. It's very dangerous, it's very dangerous. It sends a very bad message to people who are already struggling. And uh, yeah, beyond that, so be careful with your words. Do not do this. I'm telling you, I, oh, the times that I get a conditioned response from somebody in the comments. Well, you know, da, 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 and, and they're just like robots. They're just repeating what they've been trained to say. It's frightening. More on ego, let's talk about that. Because a lot of you out there watching this, you will be experiencing an ego death. Okay, oh my gosh, what is that? Well, it's a breakthrough, <laughs> it can be. It depends on who you are and how you handle it. This might be a time where shadow work, what, what people are referring to as shadow work starts to come up. Uh, you realize what you gotta work on, but if you dance around it, if you're in denial, one of the things I think is so fascinating is when uh, I'm giving a reading to someone and they negate something that was said, and then they go on to talk about it, and they're saying exactly what you just said. <laughs> but the reason why I'm bringing that up, that's exactly what we're talking about here, is that we can get so into self-preservation mode, which I talk about all the time, that we'll shut out some bit of messaging that needs to get through, and not even realize that we're we're sort of aware of it, but we're not letting it land. Okay, if that makes any sense. So uh, we need to be looking at that. So one of the things I'll use as an example was very recently, I was working with Archangel Raphael because I was just doing a live. That live was great. Thank you all who showed up for that. It was really fun uh, and amazing, like deep too. You know, people were really sharing some beautiful, deep things. I have, I think, new neighbors who have a really loud dog. So if you hear that in the back, they're in the process of moving. So, you know, they might be going back and forth. Uh, but it was a beautiful life. But I was working with Archangel Raphael. And this whole, like, sort of timeline shifting thing is like, well, however you want to see it. I'm, I'm not really speaking on that too much because I don't want to influence people's uh, perspective. You know, you, you decide for yourself. But for me, it's been very strange. And suddenly I just felt strange. And working with opening my heart, what needs to be healed, I realized that I had this ancestral healing that I had to do. And that was around lack and feeling good enough. And I was sharing that in the live for the Archangel Raphael live. And I, I'm always amazed at when people go, no, I'm good. I don't have anything else to learn. You always have something to learn, okay? And how often we go through spiritual growth thinking, okay, if I just hurry up and do this, then am I done? No, <laughs> like, you signed up to be human, show up and be human, okay? So if you are feeling lost, if you are feeling scared, if you are feeling stuck, it's okay. You just don't want to uh, torture yourself, okay? Or you, you get the right support for you. I've had, I, you know, it's, it's just interesting how ego is expressing. So when we're talking about an ego death, those are the sort of things that pop up. And if you don't look at it, your ego really starts misfiring. Now you think you're the hottest thing on the planet, right? <laughs> now you think that you can do no wrong. Now you think you're above it all. Now you think you don't have anything else to learn. You know, you're working with the highest of the highest. And so you, you're good, right? Uh, mm, listen. If you were perfect, you would not need this body. There's your proof. So watch out for false gurus, right? <laughs> Unless they levitate across the floor. Even then, I'm, I, that's, that's suspicious. I don't know. Because we could work with energy to probably make something like that happen. But, you know, if they're still in a human body, they're still human. Cool? All right. I'm sure there'll be more about that. But let's get some cards. And I will be doing the Patreon reading 
and getting that up there again don't sleep on the patreon extra readings for a dollar a month <laughs> come on it's not hard and of course if you donate five dollars and above per month then you get a spot at the end of the weekly videos all right oh there she is okay I have not used these in forever. Bethany, <laughs> when you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, uh, sea salt baths help detoxify your energy or pedicure, uh, you know, just a lot of self care and taking a break. So we get a little wound up in maybe taking care of others. Um, I could definitely benefit from this <laughs> as well. So, you know, a lot of times people kind of roll their eyes when we talk about self care or as I'm doing now, I'm gonna put my hobbies out there and, and see you know, if it benefits anybody else or you know, just have fun, right? Get feedback and, and, and all that. So that actually opens up our energy. It opens up our heart, it helps us relax. That is imperative right now because you know, the work that I do here it's not just card readings. It's definitely not fortune telling. I don't do well with people come in and go, can you just tell me what to do? And can you just tell me what's next? And do your homework. <laughs> like, stop being so lazy. And that's an ego thing too. Uh, so when people are coming forward and, and wanting these kinds of readings, we tend to go deeper. And the reason why I do that, obviously I'm working with angelic energy, but we need to make sure that spiritually we're ready for what's to come so that we don't fall apart every time something shifts or moves and we're being asked to uh, shift and move with it, okay? So I'm just realizing, I don't think I finished the ego death thing. If you do have an ego death, you have, <laughs> sorry, I'm all over the place. Uh, if you do have an ego death, what that is, is you will feel like you shifted timelines a little bit. Again, you may not perceive it that way. Don't get hung up on the language, it doesn't matter. Um, but more like you start to realize things that you need to work on and through that awareness you start to process it and you allow those things to go i was given the example of ancestral healing lack mentality feeling like we don't belong you know all of that kind of stuff and letting the need for approval from others flow away or um, any sort of societal narrative that says stay quiet don't make waves letting that go as well and while we're on the topic, that's another thing in the spiritual community when very real things are happening in our human existence and you speak about it. And if anybody perceives it as controversial, not only will you be silenced on these social media platforms, but people will punish you by unsubscribing because I'm not, or they'll just stay quiet. If you think staying quiet is spiritual, Huh. Enjoy that next life, baby. Okay. Now I'm not saying get up and start being ridiculous and <laughs> like screaming at the top of your lungs. No. But acknowledging that you are in a human body, when you're silent about things that are important in this world, all you're doing is spiritually sidestepping. And you're not doing the work. That's that, you know, that sort of ego death and realizing I gotta let that go. There are important things going on in this world. Okay, again, I'm not saying go get your energy all affected every time something happens because you'd fall apart, but if you feel like you need to speak up about something, then do it. Okay, this is exactly what we're talking about. Desiree, no conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. Here's the thing, a lot of us are going down the wrong road or we're again it just keeps coming back to the social conditioning like we make choices based on what we've been told we're supposed to be doing so whatever it is that you've been working towards you might have been putting just all this mental energy into it and you're kind of barking up the wrong tree <laughs> that's what it feels like you know so hang tight here this is so far these two cards together is definitely like okay stop pushing the world is not in place for you to proceed there needs to be some shifting there but the shifting is not outward. It's not about, oh, I need to take a different approach with how I run my business. I mean, maybe, but the deeper thing is that you need to change your perspective. You need to change what you allow people to get away with. Oceana, take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation 
and you need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. It's always funny when cards like this come out because they seem contradictory, but no. This is, uh, well here, you already saw that one. Let me give you this one. <laughs> uh, so what this is saying is you need to take a turn, okay? You're going this way, you're going this way, you're struggling, This it's not favorable. The conditions are not right on this road. If you turn this way, now you're taking action. Now you're in the flow. But Oceana is, you know, ocean, water. Water represents emotions and she's deep in the ocean. So in order to be able to do this, you need to look at your emotional responses. You need to look at where you judge people. I know, I know. You know how many times I walk through the store and I'm like, why are people like this? <laughs> You know, it's not very often, but you know, I mean, it, it is kind of interesting, but I want to come back to and, and reiterate how robotic people have become. They have their auto responses to everything and it becomes a trope, right? And people are not going to see what they're not ready to see, I suppose, but you know, if you're somebody who's not doing the deep internal work yourself, if you haven't really gone through a dark night of the soul, if you haven't seen the dark underbelly of humanity and you're going out there and going, just get over it. Just, that is the most dangerous thing to say to somebody who has experienced a lot of trauma. Or someone who literally has experienced trauma and they just need to talk about it. They just need to be heard. And you say, okay, are you victimizing yourself? diminishing them a little bit of gaslighting like you know like did you was it really that bad people are doing it people are very selfish i know i'm sick of it i i'm very sick of it i said it <laughs> i said it ah uh, we need to turn it around okay it won't happen soon because people will get scared and they'll start just thinking of themselves again and energetically, every time we do that, it just means we gotta repeat the lesson. As a collective, we have to repeat the lesson. Watch out for fall, watch out for October. Um, I'm not even gonna sit here and try to give you examples. Eh, that's so frustrating, listen. <laughs> Do you, like I just had a flash of 20 million things that went through my head. Uh, there's going to be stuff happening, okay? And you need, don't get fortified in an outward way. Fortified in a genuine internal energy kind of way. How many more times can I say it, right? <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Bridget, caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. There are so many signs here that we are going down a bad path. Our systems are broken, obviously. We partake in things and therefore they continue. If people continue to pay more than what a house is worth, if you give in to that, and you might, and I know everyone's got their circumstances, but try to figure it out, okay? Like, instead of just giving in. Or if you're not fighting back against banks that are being real shifty about terms, or um, people are trying to hide information about how you could build wealth, you know, all these kinds of things. I love using the example of the IRS <laughs> here in the United States. They will drag their feet getting your return to you. I still haven't gotten mine from March. And yet you're expected to keep paying, you know, estimates if you own your own business, you know, all these kinds of things. It's just, ah, uh, like it's so obvious. It's right there in our faces. Or, you know, think about uh, how we treat one another, relationships that are very toxic, and people are partaking in it. Now, I know some people get into situations kind of unknowingly and then they're kind of stuck. All right, that's not what I'm saying. Always be safe. But we have to stop tolerating things and we don't have to do it in like a big, crazy way. You just say, no, I'm not doing that. No, you're not going to bully me. No. No. <laughs> I'm not doing that, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. All right, so then we have angel therapy. And this is Archangel Raphael, here he is. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. There is a need for a lot of clarity here to look at what we are participating in. We have to take accountability for this. Do you feel me? So again, it's not like saying, it's really about getting your power back, 
okay? And because people will overcorrect and, and go down the road of just absolute rebellion. That's not what we're looking for here, okay? Clarity, getting the story out there, letting people see what's really going on, uh, helping each other out with information, okay? I'm telling you, this is all about ego and having to heal. And again, we all have our stuff. I have my stuff too. Feeling scared, feeling stuck, you know, all of that. Um, at times feeling taken advantage of and, you know, that sort of stuff. So let's see what else. Pull one more card here. Courage, Archangel Ariel. She's all about material manifestation. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Boom. That is the whole, that just summed up everything <laughs> that we've been trying to say here. We can no longer participate in things that are unfair, unjust. We need to stand up for fellow human beings instead of pointing the finger and saying you're to blame for everything. Here's the deal. Every person, every human on this planet has gone through their stuff. And what often happens is people will pick out a, a few examples and say, see, you know, that, that's, that's how all people are due to that example. And that's not fair. <laughs> like, that's not fair. That's not helping one another. And we're giving into the division. We know this, okay? Put it on a t-shirt and tell your friends. We all know that in order to preserve ourselves, we might see others as the enemy. And that's, it's, we can't do that anymore. We cannot. So it's not going to change overnight, most likely. <laughs> I mean, but if we uh, just allow these words to crack something open in you, and whatever that is, flow with it. Keep looking at why you feel the way you do. I'm doing the same over here, guys. I'm right there with you. All right. So let us all be a support to one another. Show some love. You know, be good. And, and even the example of YouTube or whatever, if you have other YouTubers that you really like watching. This can be a very tough platform to be on. So make sure for them that you're hitting subscribe and not just showing up and taking in the content. You know, that little action can really help them out. <laughs> I'm talking everybody, okay? So just little things like that. You don't have, it doesn't even have to be a big gesture. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we're gonna leave it there. Again, if you want a personal reading with me, a video reading, different pricing, 30 minute time slots, Email me for availability at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. If you would like to get the standard reading, I am, at least right now, running a little bit ahead of schedule, angelsouls444.com. So we're going to leave it there. I am sending you all so much love and take care.